Hey there, this is Mark from Boiling Steam, and I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to get Dirt 5 to be playable on Steam. Uh, I gotta hand it to Goffman here, who helped me a lot with this issue. Vulcan Direct 3D Proton had uh, gotten an update recently that enabled Dirt 5 to be playable through Proton, and I don't know if he's an employee at Valve, but uh, he helped me a lot. I got to give him a lot of credit for this. It is actually possible to run Dirt 5 on Linux, and I'll show you how. So, first of all, after you have the game installed, you want to have this command. I don't know what exactly this does. I guess this disables the proprietary AMD driver from being loaded. I will have this in the description, so you can just copy and paste it in there. So, first you want that. And then as for Proton compatibility, you can use either Proton Experimental or the latest stable branch. Either one is okay. But once you select one, it's important not to change it too often because evidently Dirt 5 has the Nuvo DRM enabled. And if you switch Proton versions too often, it may actually ban you from playing the game for 24 hours. So once you choose one, just stick with it. The next thing you gotta do is we're going to open up the local files here. And what we're gonna need is a DLL file. And this is coming from Vulkan Direct 3D Proton. All right, so keep that window open for now. And we're gonna grab that DLL file by compiling the source code for Vulkan Direct 3D Proton. So first off, what you wanna do is make sure that you have the dependencies installed and then you're going to clone the repository and pull in all the submodules. Hit clone and add the recursive option followed by the name of the repository. So we're just going to clone that. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into that new directory that was created. Vulkan Direct 3D Proton. And building this is going to be super easy. Just run the package release script. Followed by the name of the branch. So in this case, it's going to be master. Followed by where we want the DLL files to be located. So in my case, I'm going to have it installed to the desktop. And then dash dash no package. So just let it do its thing. It will start compiling the DLL files for both 32-bit and 64-bit. Okay, great. So we'll get out of there. And in my case, I have it on my desktop. So I'm going to go, this is the folder that gets created. So I'm going to go in here and make sure you select a 64-bit version because that's the one that you want. And all you're going to do is just copy this file and put it in the Dirt 5 installation directory. I'll just go ahead and select replace here. And that's pretty much it. So let's go back to Steam and then we'll run Dirt 5. Now you do have to give this game a good two or three minutes to load especially on the first time that you launch it. So just be patient, it's still loading. There you have it. One quick thing that I wanted to mention, this is tested on NVIDIA. I don't know if this actually works on AMD, but if you're watching this and you're using AMD hardware, give it a shot and let me know what the results are.
All right, so as you can see there, the frame rate was not the greatest while recording, but while on medium on a GTX 1660, the average frame rate is just a little over 60 frames per second. Thanks for watching this and have a great day.